We got ourselves a new Star Wars trailer! Probably the final trailer until the movie actually debuts two months down the road. Do I really have to wait two more months? I don't wanna... I wanna see it now! I know I shouldn't be saying that, I know I should not get my hopes up because I've been burned by this franchise before, but... God damn they're making it so difficult, just... Ugh. Damn you, Abrams! Now, I thought about doing a reaction video to the trailer, like many people are doing nowadays, seems to be the popular thing, but honestly, if I did that, I think it would be kind of boring, because it would just be a combination of, ooh, and, ah, and, hmm, that's interesting. Basically, those three reactions repeated at random over the course of two minutes and 20 seconds. That's basically what the reaction would be. There you go. Um, I will, however, talk about what we saw in the trailer. First of all, we have Rey, played by Daisy Ridley, who is on the desert planet of Jakku, I think it's called, and she appears to be scavenging inside a Star Destroyer, probably the same one that we saw in the teaser. And then we see a shot of a ship taking off in the distance and her kind of looking at it longingly, as if she desperately wants to get off this big hunk of rock and go out there and see the galaxy. Sounds a little familiar, don't you think? I seem to recall another character in one of the previous Star Wars movies who led a simple life on a desert planet and longed for something more. Eh, I'm sure it's a coincidence. We also got a shot of BB-8, the ball droid that everyone has come to love. It's clearly everyone's favorite character right now. Yeah, that thing is awesome, isn't it? And apparently the ball droid belongs to her, so we got that cleared up. And then we see Finn, played by John Boyega, and this was at least hinted at in the teaser, but now it looks like this has been confirmed. He is a former member of the... It's not the Empire anymore, it's the First Order, and he has switched sides. And then we have the masked villain Kylo Ren, played by Adam Driver, who is talking to the mask of Darth Vader, or what's left of it, rather, saying, I will finish what you started. Hmm. And then there's a very brief shot of him doing something to Poe Dameron, who is played by Oscar Isaac. Not entirely sure what he was doing, but it looked like it hurt. A lot. Perhaps they've decided the Force Choke is just too passé nowadays, so they've moved on to the Force Migraine. Which might be worse, depending on how you look at it. We got shots of a little dogfight going on on Jakku with the Millennium Falcon and some TIE Fighters, which looks fantastic. We see Finn and Rey meeting up with Han Solo on board the Millennium Falcon, and we get a little snippet of a conversation they're having. And judging by what we've heard, it appears that the Jedi and the Sith are not very well remembered in this time in the galaxy far, far away. They've basically become legend at this point. And Han Solo has to tell them, Everything you've heard, it's all true. I am very curious where they're going to go with that. We got a bunch more action shots, which again look fantastic. We got stormtroopers, X-wings, TIE fighters, the lot. We got a very brief shot of what appears to be Luke Skywalker in R2-D2, and also finally a glimpse of Princess Leia. It's very brief, but she's in there. And towards the very end, we have Finn whipping out a lightsaber, preparing to duel what appears to be an unmasked Kylo Ren, while a voiceover from, not entirely sure who it is, just know it's a woman's voice, says, The Force is calling to you. Let it in. Again, I'm trying not to get too excited, but... Mm, I am really looking forward to this. I thought this trailer was outstanding. Visually, everything looks great. It definitely feels like something new, but at the same time still feels very much like Star Wars, which is exactly what it should be. And there was just a little bit of that signature J.J. Abrams lens flare that I know and... No. But it wasn't obnoxious. And really, that's all I ask. I know what's gonna be in there. I just... Keep it to a minimum. Let me actually see what's going on on the screen, and I will be happy. And you know what? Here's a good sign. If the trailer is a good indication of what the rest of the movie will be like, I actually had to go back and watch the trailer again and really look for the lens flare to really notice it. So, this is good. I, I am hoping that this is what the rest of the movie will be like. 
JJ, if you screw this up, I swear to God. I thought the trailer did a pretty good job of giving us a taste of what's to come without giving too much away, because we don't need to know the entire story. We should have questions, and boy do I have questions. For one thing, we still have not learned exactly how Ray fits into all of this. Just putting out the obvious question, what is her last name? Is it possibly Solo? Is it possibly Skywalker? And for that matter, what about Kylo Ren? If he is following standard Sith Lord protocol, then Kylo Ren is not his given name. What is his given name? Is he a Solo or a Skywalker? In either case, it would make his grandfather Darth Vader, so that would give them some kind of connection. And since Kylo Ren appears to be the big bad Sith Lord of this movie, is the Rule of Two still in effect? And if the Rule of Two is still in effect, which is he? Is he the master or is he the apprentice? If he is the master, which would be my guess, but I freely admit it's just a guess, does he have an apprentice yet? Is he still taking applications? <laughs> or on the other hand, if he is in fact the apprentice, well then you know the obvious question, who is the master? I don't know, but it's gonna be fun finding out. And as if the trailer wasn't enough, we also got a brand new poster, which looks very sexy. We got all the new major players, Poe Dameron, Ray, Finn, Kylo Ren, BB-8, Captain Phasma, Phasma, however you pronounce it, and this weird looking alien thing. I'm not exactly sure who he's supposed to be. Perhaps that's Simon Pegg's character. And of course we have the old guard, Han Solo, Chewie, Princess Leia, C-3PO, R2-D2. We got a bunch of stormtroopers, X-Wings, TIE Fighters, the Millennium Falcon, Star Destroyers, and I'm not entirely sure what that big round thing in the background is, but I think I can safely say that's no moon. Now this poster does look very cool, but it does raise one very important question. Where, oh where, is Luke Skywalker? He is nowhere to be found on that poster, and so far in the trailers, we have never actually seen his face. We've seen what appears to be Luke, that hooded figure with a robotic hand crouching down next to R2-D2. Probably Luke, there's a short list of people that could be, so if it's not Luke Skywalker, then they're just fucking with us, which is not outside the realm of possibility. But yeah, very interesting. Makes me think Luke is probably going to be missing in action for most of the movie and may not actually show up until the end. It will be interesting to see how that plays out. I still can't believe I have to wait another two months to see this damn movie. I don't want to wait that long. And of course I already have my tickets. I'm sure I'm not the only one. A bunch of you have it as well. Don't lie. It wasn't easy getting that ticket because Fandango kept crashing because no doubt their servers were getting hammered. Um, still an easier experience than it was when I was buying a advanced ticket for The Phantom Menace all those years ago. Oh, back then, I don't know if they had online ticketing back then or if they did, it was still in its infancy. It didn't really matter because I remember my parents were way too cheap for internet at the time. So I had to order that ticket over the phone. I don't even know if they still do that anymore, but man, that was a miserable experience. This is basically what ordering movie tickets over the phone is like for a very popular movie like Star Wars for any of you kids that don't remember. Busy. Redial. Busy. Redial. Busy. Redial. Oh, oh, it's ringing. It's ringing. It's, oh, I heard a click. Hello? 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 Oh, there's the dial tone. Damn it. Redial. Busy. <laughs> Rinse and repeat for less than 30 minutes if you're lucky. Yeah. I, I am so happy those days are gone. I will take an unstable Fandango over that mess any day. Oh, modern technology, isn't it wonderful? Well, I think I've rambled on long enough about this trailer. If you would like to leave your own thoughts about it in the comments below, by all means, feel free. And until next time, may the Force be with you.